How's it going guys, I'm Theo Joe, and I'm sure that all of you are already familiar with a lot of the most common computer terms, especially when dealing with storage like bits and bytes, and then the orders of magnitude of those amounts like megabytes, gigabytes, and in my most recent video, we also talked about those storage units with so-called binary prefixes, such as gibibytes and tebibytes. But what if I told you there are even some more obscure and strange terms with computers that you may have never ever heard of? That's what we're gonna talk about today. It's actually pretty cool. As usual, I'm gonna quickly plug my Instagram account. It's absolutely hilarious, so follow at your own risk. We've already had about a dozen people die from laughter over there. If you wanna check it out, it's just at Theojo over on Instagram. So let's get into it. There's gonna be quite a few terms we're gonna talk about. Most of these are extremely rare or obscure, again, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about most of them, but it still should be cool. You can now brag to your friends about using these terms and laugh at them for not knowing what you're talking about. To start off, for context, let's go over what we already do know. So you probably already know the binary system, which has either a one or zero for one bit, and that is called a base two system because there's two possibilities for each digit, one or zero. And even easier to understand, of course, we have the numbers we use every day, which is the so-called decimal system. And in this case, every single digit has a possibility of 10 different numbers, zero, through nine including. In the decimal system, these digits are just referred to as decimal digits, and because there's 10 possibilities for each one, then we are said to use a base 10 system. So with base two, they're so-called binary digits or bits, and in base 10, it's just decimal digits. But what about other base systems? This is actually where it gets pretty interesting. But before we get into those, you may be surprised to know that there's actually other names for decimal digits that you've probably never heard of. These examples are the Hartley, the Ban, and the Dit. Yes, these are the same exact things as a decimal digit, which again is just one spot with a t possibility of 10 different numbers, zero through nine. It's not referring to the actual numbers zero through nine, just that spot which can take up one of those 10. We're not gonna get into the purpose of all these different terms and why there's multiple of them that exist. That would take an entire video, but you can go on Wikipedia and look up the Hartley and read all about it if you want. Also, similarly with binary, there's actually another term for a bit, which is a Shannon. Yes, you can also call a bit a Shannon. Now, if you are a computer scientist dealing with information theory, technically a Shannon is not exactly the same as a bit all the time. It has to do with entropy and probability, but you don't have to worry about that. If you wanna know the technical difference, basically a bit just refers to the literal digit while a Shannon refers to an amount of information, but 99.99% .99 of the time, they're exactly the same thing. Again, the details of that are beyond the scope of this video, but if you want, you can troll your friends with a hilarious prank of starting to use the term Shannon instead of bits. You know, if you're a computer science major and you want to uh, prank your professor, just start using that term and prove to him that it is actually a valid term and annoy all of your classmates and become extremely popular. So what about some other base systems? We talked about base two, base 10. What about base three? Yes, the ternary system it's called also has names for its digits, which is a trit. And yes, believe it or not, there are actually computers out there that use ternary systems instead of binary. I'm not really sure how they work, but they do exist. And fun fact, just like eight bits is a byte, in a ternary system, we have six bits which equals a trite. Now these base systems, hopefully you've been able to wrap your mind around them, but if not, buckle up because it's about to get even weirder. Because with all these systems, it's pretty simple. With base two, it's either one or the other. With base 10, you know, there's 10 possibilities per digit, but the next one we're gonna talk about is not even a whole number base. It is base E. What is E, you may ask? Well, if you've taken a certain math course, you might know this as Euler's number. It's a mathematical constant. It's also the base of the natural logarithm, but we are absolutely not gonna get into that. In any case though, the value of E is approximately 2.71818. Remember, it's an irrational number, which means that it goes on forever and we can only approximate it ever. Now, one unit of a base E system has a few names. It can be called a NAT, which is short for natural, a NIT or 
Nepit. And the reason I believe most of us would think this is one of the stranger cases is because unlike the other situations where the base was a whole number, this of course is an irrational number with a, you know, fraction in it. So if you can't understand how this is even possible, think of it this way. In a binary system, one bit can also be defined as the information content of an event occurring when its possibility is one in two. In base 10, one decimal digit is the information content of an event with the probability of one over 10. So in base E, therefore, one nat is going to be the information content of an event in which the probability is one over E or one over 2.17 approximately. Make sense? No? Well, don't worry about it. We're just gonna move on anyway. The next term we have is a nibble, which is four bits, also sometimes called a half byte. This is actually convenient because one nibble or four bits has the same amount of information as one hexadecimal digit. And you will sometimes see the hexadecimal system or base 16 used in computers. This is the one where instead of each digit just being numbers, each digit has the possibility of being the numbers zero through nine or the letters A through F. So being base 16, of course, that is 16 different possibilities. You may have seen this on occasion if you're dealing with like a color photo editor or something and you're choosing the different colors in a color picker, it will often display the hexadecimal code of that particular number and you'll notice that it has both letters and numbers and the letters are A through F. So that may be where you've seen it before if you thought it rung a bell. All right, now enough of these weird base number systems. Let's get back to binary, which we're probably more familiar with. So we know that eight bits, of course, is a byte, but what about other numbers of bits? What are those names? There's actually quite a few of them. First up, the quantity of one bit can also be referred to as a unibit. Two bits can be referred to as a die bit or a crumb. And fun fact, two bits or a die bit holds the same amount of information as one quaternary digit, which is a base four digit. Three bits is also referred to as a tri bit, a triad, or a triple. Five bits can be called a pentad, and six bits can be called a hexad or sextet. Seven bits is called a heptad, and eight bits, of course, is called a byte, but also can be called an octet. So if you really wanna mess with your friends, tell them that you just got a brand new one tera octet hard drive. 10 bits can be called a desolate or decil. 12 bits can be called a slab. Don't ask me where that name came from. For 15 bits, that would be a parcel and 16 bits would be a doublet or a wide. 18 bits also has another strange name, a chomp and 32 bits is called a quadlet or a tetra. And finally, 128 bits is called a hexlet. But one more for bytes, 16 bytes can also be referred to as a paragraph, which is often used in like Intel CPUs for different amounts of memory because it's more convenient. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of other more obscure or even more rare terms, but these are just the ones that I thought were somewhat verifiable and at least were used at some point. If you wanna know about some other weird units, I did make another video just recently that I can link here talking about Gibby bytes and Tebby bytes and how they're different from gigabytes and terabytes and that sort of thing. And if you guys wanna subscribe, I make a couple videos a week, so it should be worth it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.